Our first speaker needs no introduction, but I'm going to give you just a quick introduction. He's done uh, so much for the city, and we're so uh, glad that the city of Bumble and the chamber have come together through the BizCom and through other activities, and we're really thrilled to, to have him here today to give us some updates on what's going on in the city of Bumble. Please help me welcome Mayor Donnie McManus. Well, he gave me the most complicated system to try to talk about, that's Metro. <laughs> Metro was voted in in 1978. The reason money is so important to the 14 small cities that are in there now is because that's been 30-something years ago and things have changed. The other city in Texas has the right to 2% for a sales tax of the 8 and a quarter. 6 and a quarter goes to Houston, I mean the state. If you're in Metro, uh, you don't have the right to the other penny. You only have the right to one. Any city that there's 33 small cities in, Te in uh, Harris County, 23 of them are not in Metro. So Metro is not a, a regional transit authority. It started out to be uh, Houston Metropolitan Transit Authority. It ended up Metropolitan Transit Authority of Harris County, and that's what it is. Yeah, Houston, being the large city in the Transit Authority, has the obligation of running the whole show. There's nine members on the board that run Metro, five are appointed by Houston, two by small cities, and two by Harris County. And any time a new mayor comes in, those five are out, she put, I say she, whoever the mayor is, puts five more in. And they run it because the mayor wants it run. And I'm not here to knock anybody, I'm just telling you how it operates to start with. Uh, I think the mayor of Houston doing a good job. We met with her twice face to face, and she did a really good job when she came to the metro. We disagree very good now on a few things. But you'll hear people say that, that the small cities voted themselves into Metro. Well, that's partly true and partly not. Umbo was the only city that voted not to go into Metro. We voted two to one not to go into Metro. There's 23 other cities that voted not to go into Metro. There's even part of Harris County voted not to go into Metro about the east of town. Now, what happened was when they set up the vote, they vote, they, they made the, the vote wasn't for everybody in Harris County and all the small cities, it was cut off in blocks. And one of the blocks was enclaved cities. That was about seven, eight cities, I guess. Or, or more. And what they really were were downtown little villages or neighborhood cities, or was, uh, but they're real cities. Westview, Southside Place, the villages. But what they did is because Houston annexed the river about 60 years ago, 50 years ago, when the lake went in, they say because their city limits is there, that on them, out here 25, 26 miles to the river, it is also in trade. So they got all the little small cities that are all around downtown. They reach out and they put Umbo in the enclave block. Now what happened is that enclave bunch voted in a block. Those cities that were not enclaved voted in a block. Harris County voted in a block. So because Humble, even though we voted not to go in, because the enclave city as a block voted 52 to 48 to go in, they forced Humble into Metro. Humble sued to stay out, lost. Humble sued again in 97 to stay out, to get out, and we lost again on the enclave city block. But when Metro started, there was not going to be any rail. 
that would have never been read as long as Lanier was made. He flat is not going to have it. So they waited 20 years to do that. Well, Dart did rail, came in to do rail in Dallas. And they came in in 84 just to do rail. They put all their money in rail and they did rail. Well, Houston didn't do rail for 20 years, and all of a sudden, when Mayor Brown came in, he put his five people on the board. Mayor Brown came in to do rail 20 years later, when it cost about 10 times more than it would have to do dark 25, 30 years ago. <clears throat> so therefore, we are on the money. <coughs> first, Metro had so much money they couldn't spend it all. When they first went in. They wanted to do rail so bad, they yielded to the 14 small cities to give us back a portion, which in the, it's in the law that they can give us back one quarter of one cent. Seventy-five percent of that one quarter of the penny that they're all talking about, the mobility projects, goes to Houston. Bumble gets a half cent, which is about uh, five and a half million dollars or more a year. Bumble collects more sales tax on one penny of any of the 33 cities that are Harris County cities other than Houston and uh, Pasadena. And that, that's where we got, we're not, Humble is not only enslaved, we're enslaved. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way, but they wanted we are so bad, they made an agreement with us and we were sued. If we drop our appeal, they'd make this contract with us for 10 years. Okay, and all of a sudden, uh, Mayor Brown comes in and they want rail. They don't want us against rail. They don't want the 14 small cities or anybody against rail. So they come back and say, we're going to extend your 10 years contract to 14, 15 more years. 15 years. We're going to add five to y'all. But we want you to be on our side on rail. We gave us five and a half million dollars a year. I'm going to be on their side for helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where, that's, that's where the mobility funds are now. <coughs> Small cities, they get projects. And they get a little bit of money from that project. The three cities that are way out, like Humble, Katy, and Missouri City. And the Missouri City and Katy voted to go into Metro. They were not in Katy. Humble should have been, but if you're, in, if you're inside their ETJ and their city limits, they enslaved us. Missouri City is about a, a city of about almost 80,000. When, when we had this contract, Humble was collecting $8.4 million in sales tax. Yeah? <coughs> Missouri City was only collecting $2.4 million in the city of Sacramento. And as he's gone, he's tripled, but he's not near close to uh, what we are. Now, what happened in Missouri City is Fort Bend County and Sugarland has the full two cents. Well, they're one cent's about 20 something meter. So you add another penny to him, you add another 20 something meter. They went out and began to pay people to come to their city, Minute Maid, whoever. They had the tax money. The, uh, to spend by having the other cent because half that one cent you can spend on that type of program. Well, Missouri City got nothing just across the street. But we got a parking ride from Metro. Now, the politicians who I know about for it, Sugarland, they kind of laugh at the rest of us because they're in Metro. But all they got to do is walk across the street there and catch the parking ride over there. So what happened in, uh, in uh, back then when we made the contract is our fault. We missed it. We missed two things in our quit. We missed, and, and when he put the rail on the referendum in, in uh, 2003, they, they put a little deal in there that before 2013, they were holding an election to take back all the mobility funds of one quarter of one percent to put it back in our general fund. We didn't see that. And it passed. And that's the same time we, get, uh, we got an extension. So that's the reason they're going to hold the referendum on taking all the uh, one quarter of one cent that belongs to us anyway back into their general fund. 
And that, that, they're working today even on the language for that ballot. And that ballot will be, uh, it'll be voted by the Metro Service Area only in November. But, you know, me, I, we, we want to win that election, <coughs> but whatever the board wants to do can vote to do. We didn't get this contract that we got now through, uh, even through the mobility funds. The board voted to, to give us this contract, and even before that, before we ever had a contract, Lanier, who was, the, who was on that tour one time, is now mayor, he had his five people vote him $50 million every year anyway, way before we had this contract. So the board can vote you this contract, and that's what we keep telling And they know that. But they're playing a big game of politics right now. And they, and they claim they have to have this vote for the zone of referendum. So this vote will take place in November. We want to win the vote, but we will still fight to get the contract if not. Now the mayor, when I met with the mayor, she says, here's what we want. We want to cap the sales tax. In 2014, when the contract said we want to cap the sales tax. So it was, if I'm at six million, if I'm was at six million in 2014, that's all we'll get for the next ten years or whatever you set the contract. And she'd already figured hers hers out. Hers is 85 million per capita. Day. That's what she gets. She needs the money. You know how <coughs> she's been. Houston's been getting 100 million for road projects. And. Um, I'm for that. But Humble is up here high enough where we can accept the six million dollar cap, you know, for take one year. I'm gonna turn down 120 million dollars for Humble and we'll leave. But remember what I told you about Missouri City? He's way down here with a big city and he don't want a cap. You know? Because Sugarland is at the point where they they're arguing a little bit about spending all that money bringing people in and they about limited out. And now some developers are starting to move across the street into Missouri City. So he's got about $500 million worth of projects coming in, development coming into his city. And he don't want to cap because his sales tax should go this way. So uh, I'm going to quit. Anybody got a question? Sharp. That's not my idea because I can stay all day. <laughs> But if you got a question, I'll answer it real quick. <coughs>